is an historical fact. Right. Now concentrate. Now, ju just think of it as Anthony Hopkins. Hello, you short bugger. You look uh, better than you do in the brandy bottle. <laughs> oh, he's a card. Right. Let's carve up Europe, me old Huckleberry friend. What? Well, heck, if me and Alex wasn't pretty soon yarn spinning like a pair of sodbusters over a plate of okra. But I reckon what we agreed with divvying up Europe wasn't worth a marshmallow less ways we mix blood and swear and all. So he did. And I reckon it was most ways sweet and right. Napoleon and Alex seemed to have all the hope of Huck and Jim. But Mississippi Deep, Delta High, in the Delta of their soul, they burned with William Faulkner fury. Their ambitions would not be assuaged, no more than those of all the long-deposed potentates and all the never-to-find rest who had sunk into the mausoleum of all hope and desire. The raft is changing, crammed with bleached white bodies, flexing to the fist of a solitary negro, waving to the indifferent distance, drifting towards the deliverance of 1812. The raft of Tilsit has become the raft of the Medusa. Goodbye, Alex. Here's the next time. All the river promises were written in water. All alluvial, all a trivial on their little ship of horror. Neither had conceded a single territory. But Prussia had been dismembered. And she would never forget.